Today I am talking about wallets versus zipped card holders versus flat card holders. And I am going to reveal at the end of the video which one I think is best, but first I'm going to give you some details on each of the three pieces that I have here, as well as I'm then going to talk about the important factors when picking out the piece that you are going to get. And this video will be timestamped so you can skip around the parts that you are really interested in. And I would love it if at some point during the video, you would comment on what it is that you carry with you every day, as well as I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. But with that, let's get into it. Now, some people love collecting small leather goods or SLGs. I'm personally just not that into it because honestly, I'm kind of lazy and I don't really want to be constantly switching out of different things. And so I feel like that that's not the most useful use of my funds. But first thing that we're going to talk about is this is my Victorine wallet. It's obviously in the Louis Vuitton monogram canvas. It has a zipped compartment for coins, a flat area for cash, and then it has six card slots. But behind each of these card slots is another little area that opens up. I can fit about four more cards in here, probably five more if I really wanted to. So that gives you a good 14 card capacity wallet that can also hold cash and coins. This is now $575 from Louis Vuitton. Of course, everyone has different small wallets at all types of price points, but that is what this one is. Next up is the Tory Burch Robinson Color Block Top Zip Card Case. So it actually has 10 different card slots, five on the front, five on the back. And then it has a zipped compartment where you can put cash, coins, other little loose items. This particular one is priced at $128. It also comes in solid colors that I believe are a little bit less expensive. I think they're $118. You know, and most luxury houses actually have these. They're just hard to find on their websites. But you can typically find them for somewhere between $400 to $800. This one just happened to have the most card slots as it does have 10. Now, my last example is going to be the flat card holder. Mine is from Kate Spade. Technically, this retails at $79, but normally you can find it on sale for $25 or less. This particular style has six card slots, as well as, of course, this section in the middle. Now, different luxury houses will have these in two to six card holder versions. They are generally between $200 to $600, depending on the house and how many card slots that you get. Now, there are some things to consider, and I believe that the first thing that you have to consider, first and foremost, is how much do you carry? Do you always carry cash and coins? If so, you're going to be looking at one of these two options. If you carry a lot of cards, if you have a lot of credit cards, if you have licenses, lots of insurance cards, you're going to want a full-size wallet. Um, because honestly, in this guy, while it technically holds 10, once you put cash in the middle, once you put all the cards in, really you can only fit about six to eight max. Now, if you only happen to carry just a couple of cards, maybe a little cash, you can stick some cash, some receipts in here, and then just have your cards on this side. It, now, the second thing you have to consider is how much that you wanna spend, because obviously, when you get more space, you get more zippers, you get more features, that's more work, that's more material, and so that's going to be a more expensive piece. It's, and I think that's sort of point two and a half in this is going to be, are you comfortable spending more money to get the luxury version versus the designer version? So for instance, this Kate Spade, my mom and I each picked up matching ones back last year on tax free, they were doing a sale, this cost us $20 each. It, the Chanel version would be $425. My Tory Burch zipped, like I mentioned, a lot of other luxury houses have this. This one was 128. The Louis Vuitton coin card holder, which is this, but from Louis Vuitton, 415. No back card slots. The Dior version is between 450 to 540 dollars, and then the Chanel 
Again, no back card slots, but it does have a, another pouch on the front. That is going to be, I believe, $7.45. Last time I saw it in a store. And then wallets all over the place in price. So picking your budget will either narrow down the brands that you're looking at, or if you're looking at luxury brands, it'll narrow down the piece that you are going to get. It, and I think that it does matter. Do you want that special feeling of pulling out a Louis Vuitton wallet? Or does pulling out the Tory Burch give you enough of that special feeling? Or do you not even care? Now, the third thing to consider is what you will be carrying this in. So if you are a mini bag person, even as small as this wallet is, it takes up a lot of room in mini bags, which means that it may not be the right choice for you. In fact, it probably definitely isn't. You're going to be looking at one of these two. If you're carrying larger bags, a flat card holder will get so easily lost that you probably want to go with a wallet that has a little bit more bulk. Or what about if you want to carry it in your pocket? I can put both of these in my back jean shorts pocket. I can put them both in a hand pocket of a coat. I can slip them both down in my boots if I need to, whether I'm at a horse show or if I am just walking around in regular boots. I obviously can't do that with my wallet. It's too bulky. And so I think that that's sort of a really big factor is how much space do you actually have to carry this item how you want to carry it. Now, all of this being said, for my pick, personally, if I were to only have one, I would go with a flat zipped card style. And that's because it gives me the most versatility. I can put it in any bag. It's large enough that I can find it easier than the flat. It carries all of the cards that I actually need to carry with me. It means that I take out the cards that I don't really necessarily need. Now, the one downside to this Tory Burch is that I don't feel special pulling it out as I feel when I pull out my Louis Vuitton. So whenever this Tory Burch does eventually either wear out, tear up, whatever it may be, I will eventually be replacing this probably with the Louis Vuitton version just because I do like having that Louis Vuitton logo on it as ridiculous as that is. I do enjoy that. I also really enjoy the quality that I get from Louis Vuitton canvas. So that's just my personal pick. I don't enjoy carrying a card holder. It holds very little, but I do see its purposes in some situations. It's just not what I would go for first. That being said, this is all totally dependent on you, what you carry, how you use it, and I hope that if you are in the market for a small leather good, that this video has really helped you out and that you have enjoyed it as well. And if you have, I hope that you will also like this video as well as consider subscribing to my channel. So I hope that you have a great rest of your day, YouTube. Bye!